Welcome back. Uh, this is another type of example. We're going to solve this by factoring. But as you can see here, we have uh, x as a denominator. But in order to remove that denominator, we need to multiply all terms by the MGN or LCD. LCD, the least common denominator. Okay, not M MGN. Common with MCN. Least common mina. Common denominator. Yeah. And then our, that's our x. So if I have 3x multiplied by x, sorry, I need to have it the same thing. So 3x multiplied by x added by 2x multiplied by, I divided by x. So I need to multiply to all the terms. And we have negative 7x. And we have 3x squared added by 2. This one, this, the x will be 1. Then we have negative 7x. Adding both sides of the equation by 7, by 7x, sorry, should be 7x. And we have 3x squared added by 7x added by 2 is equal to 0. So this one is 2 and 1. This one is 3 and 1. So if I'm going to multiply 3 and 2, that's 6 and then plus 1. So we have 3x there. And then we have x there. Here by 2, as we said, and this one by 1 is equal to 0. And then we, we're going to find the, the roots now. 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Adding both sides of the equation by 1. Uh, sorry, subtracting both sides of the equation by 1. Then we have 3x is equal to negative 1 divided by 3 divided by 3. Then x is equal to negative 1 third. That's our x sub 1. Then x plus 2 is equal to 0. Subtracting both sides of the equation by 2. And we have x sub 2 is equal to negative 2. You can check if we got this the right roots. Another example. Here another example that I, that I found in a book. It says x plus 1 parenthesis square is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 11. What we need to do is we need to expand this first. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot do anything. The first thing that we need to do is to expand. Then we have x squared plus, this is a special product, 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 11. Yeah, this is, this is uh, smaller than this one. So I need to subtract both sides of the equation by negative x squared. That means I need to do the left-hand side of the equation into 0. And we need to subtract by 2x also and by 1 also. So all of these are zeros. Then we have 0. Then we have x squared minus 7x plus 10. That means we have negative 5 and negative 2. It's easier. To, it's very easy after that. After that you have done this, this one, then it's easier. It's very easy to, to see. To factor. x minus 5 and then x minus 2. Then you will is equal to 0. And our solutions are, sorry, there should not be zero there, no zero here. Our solutions are 6 minus 5 is equal to zero, or x minus 2 is equal to zero. Adding both sides of the equation by 5, then we have x is equal to 5. Adding both sides of the equation by 2, then we have x is equal to positive 2. That's our x sub 2. 
More example coming. Another example, 5 minus 4x squared is equal to 3 times parenthesis 2x plus 1, and then we have a parenthesis, and then plus 2. Okay? Then we have to expand this one. We have 5 minus 4x squared is equal to 6x plus 3, and then plus 2. We need to rearrange either uh the best thing is that we're we're going to do the left hand side of the equation into zero so adding both sides of the equation by 4x squared and subtracting by 5 so adding 4x squared and subtracting by 5 so that will be zero this will be zero so and then we have zero there then we have 4x squared we rearrange now plus 6x minus 2 9 minus this will be 0. Sorry, I forgot this. I, I didn't see the 2. This and this and this is 0. Then we only have that. Then we can only have x outside and we have 4x plus 6. So our solution now is x and then 4x is equal to 0. Sorry for x plus 6 is equal to 0. So our first solution is equal to 0. The second solution, we subtract both sides of the equation. Then we have 4x is equal to uh, negative 6. Divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. Uh, by 4, not negative 4. By 4. Then we have x is equal to negative negative what will be if we divide the numerator and denominator by 2 then we have negative 3 half or negative 1.5 or not mm. I live in Sweden we use uh, the comma so we have negative 1.5 okay more example Another example, we have uh, parenthesis x plus 2 multiplied by parenthesis 1 minus x is equal to negative 4. Many of my students have a problem with this. They always do this. x plus, x plus 2 is equal to negative 4. And then 1 minus x is equal to negative 4. That is not true. That is not true. Like what I said, it's not true never do this way so if i'm going to to solve this now if i'm going to subtract both sides of the equation by two then i have negative two there negative two there then i have x is equal to negative negative six if you try to put that one negative six to to the to the equation then you have negative four and uh, and 5 negative 4 and 5 this will be negative 4 there and negative 5 there then you see that you have positive 20 which is not equal to negative 4 so this one if we if you subtract both sides of the equation by 1 then you have negative x is equal to negative 5 then x is equal to 5 which is and except two, which is also wrong okay so never do this this one don't do it then we need to do it one more time we have x plus two then one minus x is equal to negative four if we multiply expand this uh, this products then we have x subtracted by x squared x times negative x is negative x squared added by 2 subtracted by 2x is equal to negative 4 now we can rearrange negative x squared minus x this 2 and then by 2 and then if we add both sides of the equation by 4 by 4 we have by 4 there is equal to 0 
Then we have negative x squared subtracted by x added by 6 is equal to 0. And then we know that this should be negative 3 and negative 2 because it's positive. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. And this one should be negative 1 and 1. So if we have negative 1 and negative 3, that's positive 3. It's not good. But if we have negative, uh, positive 1 and negative 3, that's negative 3 and negative 1 and negative 2. That's positive 2. That's good. So what we said, we have positive x and negative 3. The other one is x, negative 2. So x times x, oh, negative x, sorry. It should be negative x here. Because we have positive 1 on the other side. We need to follow this. x times negative x is negative uh, x squared. x squared. And then we have x times negative 3 is negative 3 x and then we have negative positive 2 x that will be negative x okay and then that, that will be positive 6 then we are done x minus 2 is equal to 0 adding both sides of the equation by 2 then we have x is equal to 2 x sub 1 negative x is equal to uh, minus 3 is equal to 0 adding both sides of the equation by 3, then we have negative x is equal to, ah, I should do it this way, adding both sides of the equation by x instead, so that this will be 0, then we have negative 3 is equal to x, that's our x sub 2. More example coming. Another example that I have found in, uh, in a book. 2x minus 1 divided by x is equal to negative 1. To remove uh, the denominator x, we need to multiply it by the LCD, which is x at this time. Okay, then we have 2x times x subtracted by 1 times x divided by x is equal to negative 1 times x. Then we have 2x squared minus 1 is equal to minus x. Adding both sides of the equation by x. Then we have 2x squared. This is 0 now. Plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. There is only one thing we can do with this. That is negative 1 and 1. This one is 2 and 1. We have a positive middle term, then we have 2x, we have x, we don't want to multiply 2 with negative, that's why we need to have positive there, and we have negative there. So 2 times positive 1 is 2, and then a negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So we have positive 1 is equal to 0. Then we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, adding both sides of the equation by 1. Then we have 2x is equal to, this is 0, is equal to 1 by 2. Then we have x is equal to 1 half. Minus 1 there. Ah, sorry. I haven't <laughs> written, uh, wrote uh, the equation. Subtracting both sides of the equation by 1, and our x sub 2 is equal to negative 1. x sub 1 there. Uh, the last one, we have x plus 3 subtracted by 1 minus x is equal to negative 9. Oh, wait. Too high. Negative 9 uh, divided by x. That's x plus 3, that one. As you can see here, we have our least common denominator, 
our least common denominator is x and 1 minus x. So we need to multiply to all of the terms in the equation. So what we need is we have in a parenthesis now, parenthesis, x plus 3 and then x times 1 minus x. 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x. I, I need to group them. And then we have negative 9 multiplied by x multiplied by 1 minus x divided by x. As you can see, this one is 1. Then we have x times x plus 3. And this one will become 1 also. Then we have 9 multiplied, multiplied by 1 minus x. Expanding, we multiply x squared plus 3x is equal to negative 9 plus 9x. And then we need to add both sides of the equation by 9 and subtract by 9x. So minus 9 plus 9x. This is 0. This is 0. So we have x squared plus 12x plus a uh, minus 9. I need to remove the point there. Is equal to 0. So we have... Uh, Let's see what we got. Oh, it was a disaster. I supposed to add 9 and subtract 9x. That is I supposed to do. I was supposed to do. So add, add 9 and subtract 9x. Then I have 6x. No, neg that's negative 6x. and uh, positive 9. Okay? Now, as you can see, this is perfect square. This is a perfect square. This is a 3 and a 3. And then if we add them, it will become 6. So negative, negative. So we have x minus 3 squared. It's a special product. Then we have x minus 3 if we take square root of both is equal to zero, then we have if we both sides of the equation, if we take both sides of the uh, add both sides of the equation by three, then we have x is equal to three. This is zero. That means we have a dub double root or a repeated root. X sub one is equal to x sub two is equal to three, as I explained in one of my videos okay next time i will be discussing solving solving quadratic equation equations by completing the squares my favorite Okay, see you around.